Hello, my name is Philip Northover. I'm the technical service manager for Southern California and Arizona, and I'm with FMC. As you can see right now, I'm in a pistachio orchard just to the east of Terrabella, California. And uh, this is just a perfect environment for growing pistachios. However, there are some challenges that uh, pistachio growers face, and the number one insect pest is navel orange worm. It is a caterpillar moth that affects a number of species, uh, almonds, walnuts, pecans, uh, figs, and pomegranates, just to name a few. So the navel orange worm is a basically a caterpillar, a lepidopteran, that uh, starts its life, well, let's start at the adult stage, uh, where the adult is a kind of a brownish gray to almost black appearing, appearing moth uh, with uh, uh, bands on its front wings. So after they, after they mate, the, uh, the females lay their eggs um, on the nut or in, in the nut. They generally don't go after um, new developing pistachios unless they happen to be damaged in, in some way, but they will once the uh, hull starts to split that's really the chief period of time in which they'll lay their eggs. So scouting for it can be a bit of a challenge because often the only indication at first is just a small pinhole puncture in the uh, developing nut where the uh, egg has been laid and the larva is developing. And depending on temperature and also nutritional source, uh, the eggs can hatch in as little as three days, uh, typically in the summer or close to a month uh, during the winter months of uh, through through December, January, February, um, even into March, and so the larva starts out as kind of a reddish color, uh, again very small, about a millimeter to uh, so about roughly a twentieth of an inch, and it goes through six larval stages. Uh, it may stay kind of an orange color. Sometimes they eventually transition into a kind of a creamy white color and they basically feed within, within the nut. And until uh, extensive webbing and frass is produced, it may, not, it may be easy to miss the uh, navel orange worm presence when you're scouting. And then through the course of, this, through the, course of the season, uh, eventually they'll complete their, complete their life cycle uh, when a new generation of uh, moths are uh, released and they can l later lay eggs on any damaged nuts or nuts that are susceptible and the life cycle can continue. Um, should be noted that they, uh, they do survive as mummies, both in the tree and on the tree, and this is very important when it comes to sanitation. You wanna make sure that as, as part of an integrated uh, pest management strategy to managing pistachios, making sure that you remove as many of those nuts as possible. Um, it's very difficult, there's a challenge, but you wanna definitely get them out of the tree because those mummies that uh, go through winter that are infested with navel orange worm are almost twice as likely to survive if they're in the tree as opposed to being on the ground. That being said, there's also a lot of mummies that can be found on the ground, and from there, there's a, they can also contribute significantly to the develop of navel orange worm. So navel orange worm feeds exclusively on nuts. It does not feed on, feed on the leaves. And during the egg laying process, adults are attracted to either damaged or poorly developed nuts and also those nuts that are going through the, through the natural process of hull split uh, when, they're most, when they're most susceptible. Uh, when you're scouting for this pest, uh, you do wanna use, you do wanna use what I've got here, which is basically a pheromone or bait, uh, bait trap. You wanna put this out early in the season. Um, so February uh, for sure, January and March and monitor them weekly. So there's actually a sticky card in here that would have moths and you'd pull them out and you'd count them, count them that way. So what strategies can be used to mitigate the effects of navel orange worm and pistachios? Well, one idea is to harvest early, uh, as early as possible, especially in those orchards that have a, had a history of navel orange worm problems in the past. This, uh, though a number of uh, pistachio growers do employ a two shake approach, if you can get the majority of the nuts off in that first first shake, there's a good chance you'll have a better better quality crop that way, and uh, lessen the uh, detrimental impacts of any navel orange worm that are present. Now there are chemical options available. Uh, mating disruption is being explored and is becoming increasingly uh, utilized throughout uh, orchards in in California. 
And they're also insecticides, uh, which I'm going to talk about now, that are, that are still an important part of a uh, pest management uh, strategy. So there are basically four suggested timings for insecticides, hull slip, post hull slip, early split timing, and mate timing. And that really relates to the level of pressure that um, the orchard is under. And this is going to be influenced by location, um, management practices. So in a nutshell, that is uh, navel orange worm impacts on pistachio and how to manage them. So uh, again, just to quickly review, uh, sanitation is very, very important uh, for uh, dealing with navel orange worm by far. You want to remove as many of those mummified nuts as possible. Many come off with a shake new harvest, but there still may be some, some nuts in the trees that are susceptible to uh, the generation that's still present and also those that have been infected alre infested already and uh, contain larvae developing in them. So you especially want to get those nuts out of the trees where they have a much more nutritious food source. Another option is um, Early, early harvest. This uh, is particularly uh, uh, important for those blocks or those uh, orchards which have traditionally had high levels of navel orange worm. Early harvest has shown that it can be quite, uh, quite profitable um, and beneficial, especially if, you, if, especially if you're employing a multiple shake strategy. Try to get as many of those nuts off as, as possible in the first shake and I think you'll see some good quality results. The third option is mating disruption. Um, that is becoming increasingly popular and it's be interesting to see over the upcoming years how that uh, works uh, as part of a program to manage pistachios. And there's also insecticide options. Uh, there are four main timings out there. Uh, one, uh, the best, best timings, the most critical timings are the hull slip and post hull slip uh, timings where you traditionally may need an insecticide, uh, definitely for the hull slip. And one option you may want to consider um, is from FMC, and that is Altacor insecticide. It's a group 28 in Iraq insecticide, uh, diamide, and it has shown good efficacy on navel orange worm. And when applied at that hull slip timing, I think in pistachios, and if necessary, the post hull slip timing, I think you'll see good results with it. It uh, can be applied to rates for, ranging from three to four and a half ounces per acre, with a maximum of nine for the entire entire season. So for FMC, my name is Philip Northover, and uh, thank you for your time and attention, and uh, have good luck this, uh, this year and uh, all the years when it comes to harvest.